Welcome to the Office 365 update for November of 2017. In the next 10 minutes or so, I'll be giving you a quick rundown of the latest changes and enhancements to Office 365. My goal is to keep you informed so you can get the most out of your investment in the service. In late September, Microsoft welcomed over 25,000 attendees to its annual IT-focused event, Microsoft Ignite, in beautiful Orlando, Florida, which also happens to be the home of Walt Disney World. In his keynote presentation, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella outlined three themes guiding Microsoft's mobile-first, cloud-first vision. First, empowering employees and fostering a new, modern culture of work. Second, modernizing business processes with cloud and artificial intelligence, better known as AI. And three, advancing the enterprise cloud. Don't worry if you didn't make it to Orlando or spent too much of your time there visiting Mickey Mouse and his friends. 852 of the Ignite sessions were recorded and are now available for viewing, free of charge. Just go to the URL listed on the screen and use the filters on the upper left to pinpoint what interests you. Registration for Ignite 2018 is already open. Maybe I'll run into you in Orlando next September. One of the most exciting announcements to come out of Microsoft Ignite was the new vision for intelligent communications. As the cornerstone for intelligent communications, we will be bringing comprehensive calling and meeting capabilities into Microsoft Teams. And Teams will evolve to become the primary client for intelligent communications in Office 365, replacing the Skype for Business client over time. Users will realize benefits of this consolidation before, during, and after meetings. Before meetings, Microsoft Teams will surface relevant documents and rich information about the participants to help you prepare. During the meeting, the conversation can be captured, transcribed, and time-coded with closed captioning and voice recognition for attributing remarks to specific individuals. After the meeting, the cloud recording and transcript can be automatically added to the relevant channel so conversations, documents, notes, and action items can be reviewed, indexed, and searched by the entire team. These changes are part of Microsoft's roadmap for intelligent communications, but many enhancements have already been introduced. Over the past six months, Microsoft Teams has added features like guest access, Outlook calendar integration, and meetings on mobile. In the coming months, we will be adding calling features in Teams, including inbound and outbound calls to PSTN telephone numbers, hold, call transfer, and voicemail. We are also introducing new enhancements to meetings in Microsoft Teams, including audio conferencing, available in preview today, enabling participants to join a meeting by dialing a telephone number, and interoperability between Microsoft Teams and Skype for Business, including universal presence and messaging, and calling interoperability. Today, in the modern workplace, the web is often an integral part of business workflow. Microsoft's redesigned Office.com offers unparalleled productivity tools to enable you to get your work done fast and effectively. Once signed in, apps are front and center in the streamlined workspace. To view all the apps in your Office 365 organization subscription, simply click the Explore link, which takes you to a new gallery, which includes detailed descriptions of the apps, along with links to learn more. The Recent Documents section displays all online documents across storage locations, relieving you of the burden of remembering which SharePoint site or OneDrive folder you save the document in. This section now includes an activity column so you can quickly see which of your shared documents have been edited and by whom. The Places section shows recently used OneDrive folders and SharePoint sites that you've been to frequently or are currently following. My colleague, Katie Kivett, posted a great walkthrough of the new Office.com. You can access Katie's video in the September 22nd Office blog post. LinkedIn integration with Microsoft Profile Cards provides the ability to see information from LinkedIn profiles in Microsoft apps and services. 
This new experience rolling out to first release customers in Outlook Web Access, SharePoint, and OneDrive for Business enhances the way you collaborate and build relationships. It provides insights about the people you're working with inside and outside your organization right from within Office 365. For example, in the People app, when you hover your mouse over a person's name, you'll see a new LinkedIn Find Profile link. This link is also accessible on the person's contact card. You can see summary information directly on the contact card or view the person's complete profile on the LinkedIn site. This is a great way to familiarize yourself with people you work with, both inside and outside your organization. I encourage you to give it a try. In late September of this year, Barbara, the executive assistant in my department, expressed frustration at her inability to manage the calendars for which she has delegate access from her iPhone. I delivered some exciting news to her recently based on the information in the October 9th Office blog post. For those of you who manage someone else's calendar at work, like Barbara, who manages many different calendars, you're now able to manage your delegates accept the delegation request, and fully view and edit the delegated calendar, all from within Outlook on iOS or Android. Barbara was quite happy indeed. There are additional details in the blog post, including a preview of a few more features coming soon, which Android aficionados will definitely like. Back in June of this year, I covered OneDrive Files on Demand. When available in Windows 10, it will allow you to see and access all your files, not just those synced to your PC. The unsynced files will appear alongside the synced files right there in File Explorer. Files on Demand leverages the Windows 10 Fall Creators Update to simplify the user experience with cloud storage and sync, bringing the power of the cloud into Windows File Explorer. When you save your files in OneDrive, you can now access them just like any other file on your PC without filling up your disk space. You can easily tell which files are available online only or offline. Online only files download on demand with a double click and you can make them online only again to free up space. Keep in mind OneDrive files on demand is part of the Windows 10 fall creators update. I provided some information in the transcript on how to get it, but commercial users will of course be subject to their organization's operating system update policies. Since its introduction in September of 2015, Planner has become a big hit with teams who want to keep their projects organized. Planner helps teams organize their work visually, and recent enhancements make it even more useful. One of the most requested features was the ability to view plans in a calendar view. The new schedule view lets you view plan tasks on a weekly, monthly, or daily calendar. This new view supports drag and drop, enabling you to not only quickly add tasks, but to move the start and due dates right on the calendar. If you're an IT pro using Microsoft Flow, you can quickly create a flow to create planner tasks from important Office 365 emails. And as I covered in the July update video, the Microsoft Planner mobile app for iPhone and Android keeps you up to date with all your plans while you're on the go. Haven't used Planner yet? You can get started easily by visiting tasks.microsoft.com. Microsoft alone cannot meet every single customer's requirements and relies on and values its vibrant partner community to fill the gaps. The recently announced Adobe Microsoft Partnership is but one example of this in action. The fruits of a recent agreement between the organizations includes integration of Office 365 into Adobe Sign and Microsoft Teams integration into the Adobe Creative Cloud. We don't have time for all the details, but you can find a link to more information in the transcript. Before signing off, just a quick reminder that in addition to YouTube, we're also available on many popular podcasting apps, including iTunes, Pocket Cast, Dog Catcher, and Beyond Pod. If you don't find us on your favorite podcasting app, be sure to let us know. 
Send your podcasting app request, general feedback, and my personal favorite, your success stories, to Office 365 Update Series at Microsoft.com. I'm Jim Narosky. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.